Hello, Lauren here with Lauren Elizabeth Fine Art. And in today's animal painting tutorial for Stress Relief, we're gonna be painting a mermaid tail. Something a little different, but this is actually day five of my artist challenge that I'm doing right now, which is linked down below if you'd like to join us. But guys, without further ado, let's get painting. Alright, so all the materials are listed down below, but I'm going to be using a whale tail fin for this tutorial to help us make this little mermaid tail. But before we do that, we're going to mix up the background colors and starting with crimson red, yellow, and our white. That's cadmium yellow, white, and crimson red. And with a large flat brush, I'm just going to paint the top of the canvas. So I'll create a line a little bit higher than the middle of the canvas, but I'm just going to work up from that line now and paint the sides. I want to keep the bottom of that line darker and then gradually add in white as I move up towards the top. I may need to add some more water to my, my brush so that I can move that paint more easily up my canvas. But the goal here is to where we created that line to keep that area the darkest part of the section and then the top a little bit lighter with our whites and our yellows. Now I want to thoroughly wash out my brush so I don't get any green looking colors into the ocean. So I'm going to mix phthalocyanin and blue and white and I'm going to create a darker blue towards the bottom of that orangish red line that we just made. And as I move down, I'm basically going to do the opposite here. As I move down, I'm going to add in more white. So I want to keep the bot this line dark. And then as I trail down, I want to make it a little bit lighter blue. I also want to keep this line really straight. Our horizon line is going to be really straight. And then as I paint out, I'm also going to be painting the sides. Now, it's really helpful to have a large flat brush here to create that straight line for the horizon line. And especially because we're gonna go back in with straight phthalocyanin in blue with our damp brush. I didn't really go much into that water. I wanna get this bold and dark blue here, but I just wanna make sure this stands out and is really dark. And I'll probably go down with this blue about an inch. Now I just want to note here, it's best to have this be dry or tacky before we start to draw the mermaid tail over top. Alright, so it's okay if it's a little sticky, a little tacky, 
or better yet dry, but once it is, go in with your round detail brush, your aqua green and phalocyanin blue. We're just gonna mix those two colors together, adding in mostly phalocyanin blue. I'm gonna start creating the top of the tail. So it's at an angle and that's how I'm gonna start drawing it, starting with the very top part of the tail. So I bring a line that's curved down. This is kind of the front of it at an angle. And I'm gonna add in more phalocyanin blue as I work into my blue ocean so I can really see it. I'm gonna create two curved lines on the ends of both of those lines we just made for the front of the tail. And I'm gonna pull those curved lines in towards the base of that tail. Now I'm gonna bring my brush out again, kinda of getting a little bit wider as I move it towards the bottom right of my canvas. Okay, so the center, that base of that tail should be the thinnest part. And then as I move out towards the body, it should be much thicker. I'm gonna use my phalo blue to create a little shadow, a line where that mermaid tail is coming out from the water. Take this time to do any touch-ups you would like to the background or the drawing. All right, so let's paint in that tail with phalocyanin blue, white, and aqua green. That's phalocyanin blue, white, and aqua green. I want to make this more of a medium tone color. I want it to stand out over that dark blue ocean, and but not be so dark over our orange and red and yellow sky. Now I wanna make sure that my painting is still wet so that I can add this color over top. It's aqua green and white. So I wanna apply this while my tail is still wet. Aqua green and white, and with my detailed round brush, I'm gonna create 10 sections on the ends of this tail. So I just wanna start from the very end and then move in towards the center and I wanna create, make sure that the width is the same throughout. So I'm gonna have the kind of these angled in one direction on the left side of the tail, and then they're gonna be angled in towards the opposite direction on the right side of the tail. Now, as I'm pulling in these sections, I wanna create kind of a circular base on the end of the tail. So the base of it, it's gonna be kind of circular out. Now 
Now using the same color and with my detail round brush, same brush, I'm going to start creating scales. Now I'm going to start at the base, kind of where we were creating that little circular shape right there. And I'm going to have smaller scales here and then I'm going to dab my paintbrush a little bit firmer. I'm going to add more pressure to it as I move out to create larger scales. That's kind of how I can create a little bit larger dabs of paint, just by adding a little bit more pressure to it. And I'm going to cluster these pretty closely together, all inside the body of the tail. I'm going to bring these dabs all the way down to that dark blue line that we made and you can even extend this over to the side of your canvas if you'd like. Alright, so let's add even more white to this mixture we were just using and we're going to add highlights right over top the dabs that we just made. Without painting over a lot of that dark blue base or some of the green. So we want some of that under layer to kind of pop through. and But we also want to make sure that as we lay down our scales, we're going over the ones that we just made. And kind of keeping them consistent with the size. So remember I said as we go out, they're going to get a bit bigger. But here, they're going to be a bit smaller. So I'm going to get a little bit more careful with each dab of paint that I lay down. All right, so I'm going to continue with this color on the fronts of the tail fin. So I'm not going to pull this color all the way down to the base. I'm just going to start from the very outer edge facing out and then pull that paint in. You may have more sections than I have. I have 10 here, but it's okay if you have more. 
But it's really important that you create that rounded shape, that rounded edge on the end of each section. All right, next I'm gonna wash on my brush and I'm gonna grab just Phala Cyan and Blue and I'm gonna add that on the base of this tail. So if you watch me, I'm just gonna cluster kind of these lines, these short little lines around that circular shape that we have made as we're, that we've created at the base of the tail. I'm gonna wash on my brush again and go in with even lighter white into that aqua blue green mixture that we made and I'm going to add this highlight to the very tip of all the sections on the tail. I'm gonna wash on my brush and let's start creating movement in that water. So Phala Cyan and Blue and White are the, the colors I'm gonna mix next and I'm gonna start creating lines and movement, kind of curved horizontal lines uh, placed around this tail fin so I can start creating what looks like movement in the water. All right, so I'm gonna wash on my brush thoroughly and I'm gonna grab just white and I'm gonna start adding splashes of water. So I'm gonna have this white go kind of along this blue line that we made. And right below the tail, I wanna add a lot of these dabs of paint to make it look like water's dripping, water splashing. So I'm gonna use dabs, both big and small, and lines to make this look like it's just coming out of the water, splashing all that water around. All right, next I wanna kinda of soften the water a little bit by mixing aqua green, white, and phala cyan and blue. I do this kinda of quickly on my paint palette, but I am mixing aqua green, white, and phala cyan and blue to have a bit of a reflection from the tail into the water just right along here, while also still trying to be create that movement that we want in the water. So you'll see some areas are a bit darker with my Phala Cyan and Blue. Some areas have a bit of green in there and then some areas are a bit lighter with my white. So have fun with this, but try and stick to this horizontal movement of, my brush, of your brush strokes like I am and have sections of a little bit lighter with their white and have sections with a little bit uh, darker with our Phala Cyan and Blue and green. Thank you. 
I've just added a little bit more white to my paint palette, so now we can paint that sunset, that little sun, in the right hand corner. So I'm just right ab above the horizontal line, right where it's that dark blue, where the orange and blue meets. And I'm gonna make this half circle right ab above, goodness gracious, that blue line. And with that sun, we'll create a reflection on the water. So with this color over our dried blue ocean, I'm gonna create these tiny little lines that go across the water starting from right in front of the sun. And you really want these lines to be thin right here. Mine are a bit thick and I had to kind of touch them up with my dark blue once this dried. But you want them very close together, these horizontal lines closer to the sun. And then they get a bit more spread out and a bit thicker as they kind of are further away. So right underneath this mermaid tail, I'm going to add a few dabs of this yellow. Just be careful not to mix it with your wet blue paint because that'll make a green. I'm going to add just a few dabs of this yellow over some of the white droplets of water and in the water that we have that we placed white down. Well, there you have it. This is our mermaid tail. If you have any questions, make sure you comment down below. Guys, have a fantastic day. See you in the next animal painting tutorial for Stress Relief. Bye.